Isang magtagumpay na pagpapala muli sa inyo. Handa na ba kayo? Kunin na ang inyong mga gagamitin sa ating aralin. Ako ang gurong magkakasama nyo, Maestro Ulaso. Sama-sama tayo, matuto. Before we proceed to our lesson, let us review your past lessons. Get ready to our Mathanong! Mathanong number one. How do we subtract similar fractions? In subtracting similar fractions, just subtract the numerators and copy the common denominator. Reduce to lowest term if possible. Mathanong number two. How do we subtract dissimilar fractions? In subtracting dissimilar fractions, change it to similar fractions by getting their equivalent fractions through the least common denominator or LCD. Divide the LCD by the given denominators and multiply by the given numerators. If the given is a mixed number, subtract the whole numbers first. Then, subtract the numerators and copy the common denominator. Reduce to its lowest term if possible. Let us start our new lesson. Get and open your sub-learning module in Mathematics 6 for us to Mathalakai! Welcome to our lesson for the day, all about solving routine and non-routine problems involving addition and or subtraction of fractions. Let us first differentiate routine and non-routine problems. A routine problem can be easily solved using at least one of the four arithmetic operations and or ratio to solve problems that are practical in nature, while a non-routine problem is a type of problem that requires analysis, manipulation, or derivation of formulas and the like. Oftentimes, this problem can be solved in multiple ways. It encourages group discussion in finding the correct solution. In problem solving, you have to understand the mathematical phrases used in the problem so that you can determine the operations to be used in solving the problem. Phrases or words used in addition of numbers are plus, sum, total, in all, altogether, combined, increased, more than, and added to. For subtraction, we use the words like the difference of, reduced by, diminished by, subtract from, take away, fewer than, less than, shared, gave away, decrease, change, and left. At this point in time, get your sub-learning module. Let us try to answer numbers 1 and 2 of learning task 1. Translate each of the following problems to a mathematical symbol. Number 1. 7 is added to the sum of 4 fifths and 6 sevenths. Is it A? 7 plus 4 fifths plus 6 sevenths or B? 7 plus 4 fifths minus 6 sevenths. You got it! It's A. Number 2. 2 and 3 fourths subtracted from 11 is equal to 8 and 1 fourth. Is it A? 2 and 3 fourths minus 11 equals 8 and 1 fourth. Or B. 11 minus 2 and 3 fourths equals 8 and 1 fourth. You are amazing! It's B. Remember that the given number after the phrase subtracted from will be the minuend. There are four main steps in solving math problems. 
Just remember this. S T A R. Star. S. Study the word problem carefully. T. Think of a plan. A. Act on the plan. R. Review and check your answer. Let us discuss these steps further. First, study the word problem, read and analyze it carefully. Look for the important keywords or phrases, important numbers, and focus on the questions asked. Next, once you have understood the problem, it's time to think of a very good plan by choosing one of the solving strategies. You can choose among the following. Simplify the problem. Act it out. Find the pattern. Guess and check. Make a table or chart. Working backwards. Using a number line. Draw a picture. Write a number sentence or equation. And looking for clues or keywords or phrases, which is the most commonly used strategy in solving a problem. After identifying the solving strategy, you need to think what operation to use. Clues, keywords, or phrases would help you a lot in identifying the operation. Then, after thinking of the plan, you can now act it out. You can use scratch paper or a notebook to write your solution. Sometimes, you get messy in solving. Do not worry because that's really how problem solving is. But do not forget to clean up after your work is done. And the final step in solving a word problem, one that is commonly ignored, is to check your answer. Go back to the problem and see if you really answered the problem. Do not forget to include the important units or data. This time, let us try to solve the problem in learning task 2 of your self-learning module. Zailin wants to make two kinds of kakanin, puto and puchinta. The puto recipe needs 3 and 2 fifths cups of flour, while the puchinta recipe needs 5 and 1 fourth cups of flour. How many cups of flour will she be needing all in all? Let's follow the star in solving the problem. First. Study the word problem carefully. What are the keywords or phrases used in the problem? Correct! In all. What are the given facts? Exactly right! 3 and 2 fifths and 5 and 1 fourth cups of flour. What is being asked for in the problem? Great! The total number of cups of flour Sailin needs. Next, think of a plan. What do you think is the operation to use because of the keywords in all? Perfect! Addition. Now, let us create the number or mathematical sentence. 3 and 2 fifths plus 5 and 1 fourth equals n. Now, I think we are ready to act out our plan. Here is the solution. 3 and 2 fifths plus 5 and 1 fourth equals n. Remember the steps in adding mixed number with the similar fractions. To make it similar, let us find the least common denominator or LCD of 5 and 4. What is the LCD of 5 and 4? You did very well. 20 is the LCD of 5 and 4. Then, let's divide the LCD by the given denominators and multiply by the given numerators. 20 divided by 5 times 2 equals 8. 20 divided by 4 times 1 equals 5. So, we have 3 and 8 20 yet plus 5 and 5 20 yet. Now, add first the whole numbers, 3 plus 5 equals 8. Then, add only the numerators, 8 plus 5 equals 13. And copy the common denominator, 20. We have 8 and 13 20 yet. 
Is it already the lowest term? Yes. Therefore, our final answer to Zailin's problem is 8 and 13 20 yes. Zailin needs 8 and 13 20 yes cups of flour. And to check if our answer is correct, let's subtract the total cups of flour that Zailin needs 8 and 13 20 yes to 5 and 5 20 yes cups of flour used in Kuchinta. We have 3 and 8 20 yes to reduce to 3 and 8 20 yes to its lowest term. Divide 8 20 yes by 4, its greatest common factor or GCF. We have 3 and 2 fifths, which is exactly the number of cups of flour that Zailin needs to make puto. That means our answer is definitely correct. Again, remember the four basic steps in solving word problems. Always follow your star. This time, let's proceed to learning task 3. How do you create a word problem involving addition and or subtraction of fractions? You can create a word problem by observing the following guidelines. Familiarize yourselves with the concept of addition and subtraction of fractions and their application to real-life situations. Think of the problem you want to write. Read some problems and study their solutions. You must also consider the following when creating a problem. Characters, situation or setting, data, and key question. Take a look at this example. From the given data or information below, create the problem. Liza makes flour, bought one half meter of ribbon, used one third meter of ribbon, ribbon left. Are you ready? Math try nga! I will present to you two story problems. Then, Choose which is the correct story problem created from the given data or information. This time, let us try to solve the problem in learning task 2 of your sub-learning module. Liza bought one half meter of ribbon to make flowers. She found out that she had one third meter of ribbon left. How many meters of ribbon did she use? Letter B. Liza bought one half meter of ribbon to make flowers. She used one third meter of ribbon. How many meters of ribbon were left? Is it A or B? Yes, it's B. Congratulations! And now for our final activity. It's Mathematics time! Get a piece of paper or notebook. Write the numbers 1 to 5 and choose the letter of the best answer to the following questions. Help me solve the problem we created a while ago. Liza bought one half meter of ribbon to make flowers. She used one third meter of it. How many meters of ribbon were left? Number 1. What is the keyword in the problem? A. Bought B. Make C. Left. D. Meter. Number 2. What is asked for in the problem? A. The number of meters used. B. The number of meters bought. C. The number of meters left. D. The total number of meters made. Number 3. What is the operation that must be used to solve the problem? A. Addition B. Subtraction C. Multiplication D. Division Number 4. What is the correct number sentence to solve the problem? A. One half plus one third equals n b one half 
minus one third equals n. C. One half times one third equals n. D. One half divided by one third equals n. Number five. What is the correct answer to the problem? A. Five six meter. B. One six meter. C. Two six meter. D. Two thirds meter. All right. Let us check your answers. Liza bought one half meter of ribbon to make flowers. She used one third meter of ribbon. How many meters of ribbon were left? Number one. What is the key word in the problem? The correct answer is C. Left. Number two. What is asked for in the problem? The correct answer is letter C. The number of meters left. Number three. What is the operation be used to solve the problem? The correct answer is B. Subtraction. Number four. What is the correct number sentence to solve the problem? The correct answer is B. One half minus one third equals N. Number five. What is the correct answer to the problem? One half minus one third equals N. The correct answer is B. One six meter. Now, how many of you got 4 and 5 correct answers? You certainly did well today! Congratulations! To those who got 3 and below, do not worry. Try to go back to your self-learning module and answer the given learning tasks. Natapos na naman ang ating aralin. Now, why kayo may natutuwan sa ating tinalakay? Muli, ako ang inyong Maestro Ulaso na nagsasabing, Ugaling manood at makinig upang maging matinik sa matematika.